was pretty good at having everything together. I get up early. I get all of the things I need to do done. I plan and I prepare. So it's not often that new things spontaneously happen in my life. The days are predictable, but I don't think that's a bad thing. To me, it feels like a privilege to be able to wake up and for the most part, know what's going to happen. I'm not worried about when my next meal is going to be or where it will come from. I'm not stressed about finding a job or getting into college. Those things at this point in my life are already known. They feel certain, permanent. It's comfortable, it's safe, but it's too easy. And so it's boring. As people, we are constantly chasing one problem after another. It's what our brains are wired to do. We don't want any problems, and yet when there are too few of them, we get bored. Being in this position, however, is good. It's free. Here, we get the luxury of getting to choose our next set of problems. And it can be anything. Last week was a hard week for me. Things were just not going according to plan. Life felt like it was unraveling in my arms, and no matter how hard I tried to scoop it all up back together, I couldn't. It was just too much. And once things calmed down again and things started returning back to normal, it felt like a huge relief. I could finally breathe and just exist. <sighs> and that felt good for, I don't know, a day? Maybe? And then it got boring. I noticed I immediately started looking for problems. Were the pets up to no good? Are there more chores that could be done? Am I forgetting something? This moment I desperately wanted is here, and now I'm looking to get rid of it. Things are always changing. We know this on a conceptual level. We know that time is passing and that things are changing. But rarely do we stop and become aware of the fact that this very moment, this exact second, is different from the last. Instead of running away from boredom and trying to fill it up with something, Maybe we should take a moment to try and see it for what it is. An accomplishment. A sign that you've made it through. We should reflect on what it took to get to this point and savor how incredible it is to be free. Because no matter how far you get or what position you end up in in life, problems will appear in some form or another. The difference lies in whether the problems are given to us or if we're able to choose them for ourselves. A little bit of boredom is not a bad thing, but no one wants to be bored forever. The first thing we tend to try is adding new things into our lives, but that gets a little unfeasible to keep up with over a long period of time. Things just have a diminishing return. Your first day at a new job is going to feel a lot more exciting than your hundredth day. Your first time hearing a song or watching a movie is more interesting than your tenth time doing so. Humans adapt. That's another convenient byproduct of our large brains. You can keep adding new things into your life and that may work for a bit. But you may eventually hit a point where, no matter what you get, nothing feels like it's enough. At least, that's how it was starting to feel for me. I had put everything into achieving this one goal, and I managed to do it. But now what? If I add more goals and achieve those, then what comes after that? So then, I think, I should try setting a goal that has no real, tangible end to it, like self-improvement. A never-ending journey. But the idea of that kind of sounds exhausting. 
I guess I'll just have to learn how to enjoy the things I already have in my life. If the current point in it is boring, I should try to enjoy the stillness, the calmness of it all. And if life is stressful right now, well, at least it's not boring. But someday, it will be.